previous cap was 55 acres of this 40 mil geo composite. Uh, the entire cap was this surface. Uh, when Walker started their project, they had to bring in 480,000 uh, cubic yards of leveling fill to create the shape of the cap they wanted to build. So the first thing they did was to reinforce all the trenches with a uh, geo grid. Uh, supposed to be an amazing product to bridge anything that subsides underneath their leveling fill. This will give it the stability not to fall. Anything that had slope, they had another product, um, woven geotextile. Uh, then they placed their leveling fill with the 480 cubic yards of leveling fill. They created the shape they want, and any place that they felt was would be unstable, unstable, they put more geo geo grid on that. And then they placed uh, GCL, a geosynthetic clay material. This is product is supposed to be equivalent of two two feet of high quality clay to prevent water infiltration from the surface. And then they put a 60 mil uh, HDPE product, uh, pretty much waterproof, impenetrable, over top of that. Any, any hole that would ever get in this, this product is supposed to seal that hole. So almost impermeable. Imper and then fin the final geosynthetic product that they put on was this drainage layer and it sits right on top of that and any water that that permeates through the surface is caught by this and diverted off the cap to the sites they want to control it. Uh, on top of this they put two feet of protective cover which is a high quality clay that they got out front and then six, in six to eight inches of topsoil and grass.